I think at this point, it is just safe to say that YouTubers are God's strongest soldiers. But do I really want to be part of these strong soldiers? That's where the question is, and I don't think so. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adikem. If you're just in my face for the first time, I really hope you live here as a subscriber. I decided to be serious with my YouTube channel about a couple of months ago and honestly, I'm already tired and I really feel like YouTube is really not for me, like maybe it's not my thing and I don't know what to do. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my mistakes, my experience and every other thing that surrounds my YouTube journey. This video is not to discourage anyone from starting a YouTube channel, neither is it to like encourage anyone, to be honest. I think you should just do with it anything you really want. So like I said, last year, November, I think, I maybe late November to December, I started posting video. So I started with short videos and it was mainly beauty, niche, let me say makeup. So and I started getting one to two subscribers. The shorts were doing really, really well. And I was super, super happy about it because from one shot I could get 400 and something views, 2K views that it is really hard to get if you're posting a long form video. So but then I knew I was not going to be consistent with the makeup thing because I was also learning how to do my home makeup and but then I just wanted to share the things I was learning to other people. So after posting a couple of short video, I transitioned to posting longer form videos. And this is the beginning of the struggle. So the longer form videos, I posted one makeup video and that one also did well. Maybe it had like 200 to 300 views. Then I came across this popular video, which is how to create fake background for your YouTube channel. And I jumped on the video, on the challenge or tutorial, and I did my own video on how to, and boom, it did really well. I think the video is about 830 or 50 thereabouts right now. So I just said to myself, why not just share my own experience as I'm learning? Why not just share my experience with people, how to do this and that, how to affect your video, how to make thumbnails and all those stuff. I told myself. And I started making video towards that niche another problem then the next video i made maybe it did like 70 or something i was sad but honestly when i started my channel i knew i was not going to get the views and even the subscriber immediately but i don't know maybe it's because of other creatives that i saw and the channel was too well maybe that is that was why i felt bad i honestly don't know so i just said to myself okay Maybe I should try another video. Then I made another video relating to video making, video editing skills, and the views were still low. Then I started thinking, I started, you know, getting worried about the things I'm doing, if I'm doing it right or not. I downloaded um, some soft SEO software just to really know where. I'm getting it wrong. Maybe it's the tags, the keywords, titles, descriptions, you know, all these things. I'm doing everything. And at the end of the day, even sometimes this SEO will tell me to like change my title to something else. And I'll do, and the video will like get views in like an hour and back to normal. So I don't know if you are a creative and you're watching this, I really want you to like advise me on what to do and what not to do yeah niche 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 i don't even know if it is niche or niche 
you know before i started my youtube journey i watched a lot of videos which i still do do so i watched so many videos some videos were like you have to have a niche and some videos are just talking about you don't need a niche as a starter i started with no niche to be honest i just wanted to like try so many things out and when i really get what i really want then just stick with it but i think at this point it's not really working for me if i really had a niche in mind i wouldn't have followed the popular video even if the numbers were doing well i wouldn't have followed it so i think not having a niche has really affected my channel the next thing is i think i need an accountability partner. I have a friend, a YouTube friend, a friend that I met on YouTube, and her name is Bidemi. And I'm very sure she will be watching this video sooner or later. And she was posting video like back to back. So she was like motivating me in a way to post more videos for my channel. But Bidemi, where are you? She has not posted a video in like a week. So if you're watching this video, I'm talking to you. Having an accountability partner I think is important for my channel growth and that is really affecting my channel right now because i do not feel motivated maybe because of this setback or something i really do not feel motivated at this point to be honest when you see other creators doing making videos you sit down and be like oh yeah i can do something like this but honestly they put in a lot and lot of work behind the scenes it's not just about sitting down it is about planning before you even sit down there are some things you you think in your head before you see camera i'm really sorry for the noise before you see camera and the make sense and once you see camera everything is gone like everything is i'm planning that they are really making sense in my head the moment i sit in front of camera they are gone i don't i don't even understand that they are really gone There are some videos you will make and you just like i don't want to put them out and they will even do so well more than the videos you sit down edit for hours do create thumbnails for hours and you just be wondering what is really happening do i should i just stick to not putting so much effort but that cannot really help me long term i'm thinking long term goes if i was thinking short term maybe i would have opted for that but at this point i just really think algorithm doesn't like me dear algorithm this is me talking to you please push my videos help my channel help me i'm begging you thank you youtube is going to teach you patience it's going to teach you to appreciate the little things when i see one subscriber or one like I just there's this little dance i do and this little smile just like a baby you have to appreciate every little step of the way if not you will just see yourself leaving youtube or quitting or not being motivated to create another video so this is just me sharing my experience what i've learned so far as a youtuber or as a new youtuber so if you are also a new content creator and you are going through the same thing or you have solution or you think there is something i can do to make my channel better then please put it down in the comment section and if you are an aspiring youtuber thinking of starting a youtube channel a youtube channel just start do not overthink it just do that first video and we're going to be fine so here i'm not quitting i'm not leaving youtube i am going to stay no quitting Mm -mm -mm. we are not doing that this day we are going to make this money together and that will be all for today until next time I see you have a great day